Hello. I pray that you're well today. I want you to think about, just for a moment, if you would, where are holy places in your life? What were holy days? And where are holy places? For me, for my life, there are holy places. There's the place that I was baptized, Bethlehem Lutheran Church in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. There's the place where I was confirmed, Christ Memorial Lutheran Church in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. There are the schools that I went to where I learned the faith, Christ Memorial and Milwaukee Lutheran High School. Those are holy places to me where God did his work. There's where my wife and I got married, St. Michael's Lutheran Church in Fort Wayne, Indiana. There are the places our children were born. Cheyenne, Wyoming. Trenton, New Jersey. Those are holy places. There are, there are places that are holy because of what happened there. Places where my, my mom left this life in Sheboygan, in room 305, in a, the hospital wing. Those are holy to me, significant to me. What's significant to you? I want to read to you this scripture. If you love me, keep my commands, and my Father, he will give you an, another advocate to help you be with you forever, the Spirit of Truth. The world cannot accept him because it neither sees him nor knows him, but you know him, for he lives with you and will be in you. What does that mean? It means you are a holy place, that the Spirit of God lives in you. It says, but you know him, for he lives with you and will be in you. He says, I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. Before long, the world will not see me anymore, but you will see me. Because I live, you also will live. On that day, you will realize that I'm in my Father, and you are in me, and I am in you. Whoever has my commands and keeps them is the one who loves me. The one who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I too will love them and show myself to them. Then Judas, not Judas Iscariot, said, But Lord, why do you intend to show us to yourself and not to the world? Jesus replied, Anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. My Father will love them, and we will come to them and make our home with them. You, you are the dwelling place of God. You are holy. You are holy not because you and of yourself are holy, but because you, the God himself has made his home with you. He indwells you. The, the original language, that the language theologically is the mystical union. It's Galatians 2.20. I've been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I live in the body, I live by faith, by the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Think about this for a moment. Where are the holy places in your life? And now think about this. You are a holy place. You. The Spirit of God indwells you. You are the dwelling place of the Spirit of God. And... God has made his home with you. How does that relate to how we live and how we think about our life and what we do? How do we carry ourselves? That, that we ourselves are the dwelling place of the Lord God Almighty. It's hard to comprehend. But the more we acknowledge his presence, the more peace and purpose and meaning and strength we can gather and garner, for he says this statement. Because I live, you also will live. But he says this statement, because you know him. He lives with you and will be in you. And the language here, where he says, my father will love him and we will come to them and make our home with them. You are the dwelling place of of God himself. Think about that. We are the dwelling place of God himself by faith in Christ. Please pray with me. Lord God, help us to reflect at life that we are the place 
of sacred, holy presence, your sacred, holy presence. In Jesus' name, amen. May God bless you today.